Hello friends, today I'm coming back for the twins and I'm going to share with you a little bit of the things that I mentioned in a previous video about them being wilder and them it's a, well, it's a stretch because it's mostly Gaia that is misbehaving and that is acting 100% hormonal and actually kind of acting very very violent towards the other girls. Now, I've been working on her behavior. I've been trying to, on my end, put her in her place. Hi, Briere. Gaia's driving absolutely, she's driving me absolutely crazy. She really is. But I think it's hormones. Instead of being like skittish or shy or anything, she's just fighting with everyone. And she's being rough like she'll she'll be running and she'll run into every boat like she she's not looking where she's going she's so i hope that the, having these kids are gonna help her calm down when mocha and annabelle were pregnant the first time they developed their own little weird things that they did like mocha was super like you would hurt her feelings sensitive I guess that's a that's the word <coughs> you would hurt her feelings if you look at her differently or if you just you know anything she would be super super sad about anything like I put the the hay in the other feeder instead of this one that she likes like she would be so sensitive and so hormonal but still in an okay way Annabelle on the other hand she was she's like yes I'm right here what's wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you Annabelle right there she was a little bit more hormonal um, in a different way like she was super sweet to me but she started acting a little rough with the girls but now yeah. developed a terrible attitude terrible I'm telling you terrible attitude I am hoping I can catch her here doing something, but um, since the camera's rolling, probably I'm not going to be able to catch her. But what she's been doing is um, kind of ramming into the other girls. Like, you know how Brie tried to go there, she couldn't, and she went around? Well, Gaia will go right through them. Ram whoever needs it's there and not because she wants to get to the hay It's just because she can't make up her mind She's always upset about something. She doesn't like where she is. She always needs to go somewhere else the only one that Gaia does not mess with is with Annabelle because Annabelle will put her in her place And I'm so thankful. I thought that I never say this about Annabelle but she's kind of um like the unheard superhero of babies. She will defend every single baby from the twins who are very hormonal. So it's it's actually kind of sweet. Gaia, not so sweet. Gaia, if you can, just just try to behave, okay? If you can. If you think it's possible, just behave. So now you know. When I say that the twins are being wild, they're being very they're being very wild. And now you have a better idea of what that looks like and how it's being managed. I'm all for goats being goats, animal being animal, but at the same time, I'm also all for being responsible for the rest of the herd. I witnessed Annabelle ramming the same way that Gaia is doing to the other girls last year before Clara had her babies and she had some kind of a false labor a few days before she had the quads and she had quads she needed the time to finish all that development and the the more time that the kids spent inside of her the better chances for them to survive so that was very scary and that kind of planted me in a place that that's not okay if you keep doing that we need to address it do something about it or maybe it's a time to separate you it's just not okay to hurt others um i'm okay with them having an attitude i'm okay with them being 
naughty or being hard on the stand or all the other things but when it's as far as being violent or when it's being a bully really to others physically then that's where I draw the line so it's been a challenge to work with Gaia I was talking to my friend who is a vet and she was telling me that that's very normal for some goats for the first couple of months of pregnancy and that she should settle down but she's having a few arguments with Annabelle who's trying to put her in her place before that time comes my husband fixed this thing and now it's so easy I'm so thankful this gate used to open by itself every time how was your guy how was your night You guys had an awesome night. Hi, Rox. You're a good boy, Rox. Yes, you're a good, good boy. He like, let me eat. Hi, Cash. Hi, baby. You don't do that to me. No, 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 no. I took him to the vet when I disbutted the twins because they were born a day apart from each other and the vet told me that she didn't know if he was pulled and that I better disbud him. He was indeed pulled. Uh, you can see when they are not, as they grow up, you will see some, you know, kind of, you'll feel the actual, what's it called, horns or the base of it and he has only skin. But that created this itchiness on him so I feel bad for him because he's always super super itchy like the boys um, I don't know if you can see well Dom grew hair over his he has no scars you can see the scars on Duke if Taz would get his face off of them the scars on top you can see them right now they're kind of little horns um, Rocky lost him this breeding season. He doesn't want me to touch it, but you can see how he lost him. He has a little bit of this one, but it's it's falling too. I'm sorry, Rox. I'm sorry. The rut itself, it's still happening. They're still peeing on themselves, but not as much. They're not fighting as much. And I'm assuming it's because the girls are not going into heat. At least not the older that have stronger heat cycles. You have a good day, son, okay? You do. You too, dog. You too. You have a great day, okay, sweet baby? Oh, you're itchy. Yeah, I'm not your scratching pole, though. I know, I'm not. You're very cute, too, Dom. You have an awesome day, okay? I'm gonna get the other so thank you so much for being here today. If you don't mind giving us a like, leaving a comment down below, and ringing the notification so you can be notified next time we have a new video. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna say goodbye from nice and sunny Southern Oregon. Bye guys.